Hello, Alex RC Freak here, coming at you with another video. This is the Traxxas Unlimited Desert Racer. So this is my teardown video series. Um, this is on the transmission. As you can tell, I dyed the parts black. I used RIT liquid dye, 10 bottles of it, and a 22 quart uh, pot to dye these parts. And they came out looking amazing. Now what I did is I cleaned all these parts with wax and grease remover before I dyed them. So that way it preps the plastic surface and it cleans it so that way there's no grease residue on here and then you get weird spots in your dye. So um, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It looks, it looks awesome. It looks kick ass in my opinion. So I don't care what anyone says. So anyway, but yeah. It looks awesome. So, anyway, what you got here is you got, this is the spur gear, or I like to call it ring gear since it's actually on the differential. Now, this is the center differential of this truck. This comes factory with one million weight um, fluid in it. So, you got two bearings. They're bearing that goes on right here, and they pop on. The fitment, Traxxas has really stepped up their game. This slides on the back, and if you notice, see how it's splined? See how this is splined right there? I don't know how well you can see it. Let's see if I can get you in a little closer on the light. But this is splined. See how it's all splined in there? It's splined all the way around. My camera would focus. But yeah, it is splined. You stick this in the back of there. Now keep in mind, when this transmission's out, you almost, with this shaft, it's so tight on here. Like this shaft doesn't wiggle around at all. It's really, really tight. Now this is the planetary gear set. This is the inside gear right here. There's teeth inside here. And then there's little tiny gears inside here. And if you notice, there is one, two, three, four, two millimeter Allen screws holding it together. So let me just get the light a little better for you here because just trying to get you guys to see this. But uh, yeah, so basically you just turn this and, you know, it gives it gear reduction when it's in the diff. Because all together, it looks like this. And then you got the two bearings. That are like this. And they're spaced like this. And make sure that you get them right. And make sure this seal right here is correctly seated in this groove right here. Now... You want to make sure that uh, this seal is correctly seated right in this groove. So it's a little extra ring seal. So basically, I think there's a pin that goes through the center of this. Actually, no, there's not. If you notice in there, I don't know how well you can see it in there. Let's see if I can get you a better look. But if you notice in there, there's a little Allen. See that Allen deep down in there? That's a 2.5 millimeter Allen screwing, screwing that down. So you do not have access to unscrew this when it's assembled in the vehicle. So now keep in mind, if you notice, the the this little groove here in the planetary, these little notches, now notice this. These little notches right in here, you want to make sure you want to make sure that you get the planetary gear set seated in those notches. So you take it with this facing out the shaft and you stick it down in there. Now it should fit nice and kind of pop in. That one popped in and fit nice. So and then it spins and then you got your gear reduction. Now listen to how loud these gears are. This is why, seriously, do not be lazy like a lot of people are and just take apart your RC and make sure it's right before you drive it. But a ton of people are lazy. And I'm not saying that disrespectfully. I'm just being this the straight-up truth. If, you know, if those people want to admit it or not. But I'm just saying, seriously, it really is a benefit to do it. And this is how it looks like when it's together. And then you got your pinion gear right here. But, you know, of course, this will be slid, slid into this groove right here. And you slide it in there and you stick it all in one. You make sure the seal's there. These two bearings are supporting the shaft, which is awesome. 
And you got bearing here supporting differential. It's just really well built. The downside. This is 32 pitch. The reason why they did 32 pitch is so they can put a higher uh, pinion gear count on there. Teeth count. So keep that in mind. That's why they did 32 pitch. So they can keep a higher teeth count. But um, the uh, Mod 1 you wouldn't be able to go as high as this. I think it has like a 27 tooth stock pinion gear so it's pretty high but it's geared gear reduction down to nine to one that's you know that's pretty substantial so anyway i just want to make a quick video showing you the transmission kind of what's up with it um this is the truck actually right here um you know this is what it looks like so you know there's a the motor mount there's the pinion gear that little gear on there there's a the black motor with the fans are just Aluminum motor mount. There's a steering servo. These are the control arms. I mean, it's really, really well built. So, and let me just uh, show you here. Um, on the other side, let me just turn this around. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it. Uh, let me take that back. So, hold up here. Just bear with me. So, if you notice the gap there, look at that gap between this piece right here and the chassis look at that gap on the corner right there see how it's gapped see how it's not very tight against there i'm gonna have to call traxxas up and one thing about this truck is the shocks are leaking right out of the box it's pretty annoying it really is it's pretty irritating and, and not happy about it but anyway i just want to make a quick video showing you guys kind of what's up you know what's going on with the progress I'm going to put 1 million fluid back into this because it feels like it hardly has any in it if you turn it. I know the camera, it's hard to tell you or show you, but I'm going to grease this, pack this with grease. I really like how they're screwed together, these two plates. There is ball bearings inside here, so those little gears in here can actually turn very nicely. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's just really awesome. And then I also dyed the parts of the truck. I'll sh just a little sneak peek. Look at all this. I dyed all those parts black, and they're everything. I dyed black. I dyed this black. And then this is the chassis. This is what the chassis looks like. I dyed that black. It's looking real nice. So anyway, like I say, I do appreciate you guys, you know, being kind enough to um, subscribe to the channel, leave comments. I do appreciate it. I'll try to get to the comments as soon as I possibly can. And then also Traxxas has stripped out a screw factory right there. If you notice the head on that one, how it's all kind of worn out compared to this other side here. Yeah, so Traxxas stripped out a screw there. So I'm going to talk to him about that. But anyway, yeah, thank you so much for watching. This is just a quick video showing you kind of what the training looks like. It looks to be very well uh, machined, you know. Uh, gears. This is actually a machine shaft. This is molded. It's powdered metal molded into a form. It's centered metal. That's what Traxxas uses on 90% of their cars that have metal drivetrain components is it's centered metal. It's not CNC machine. Just, search, just saying. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Alex RC Freak out. Peace.